So today we are going to talk about uh, the second subject, inshallah, this is um, computer hardware design. Uh, and the slides I showed you last time was very compact. And I see some of you told me that, they, that you, want, you want some re revision regarding the digital circuits. But actually, the, uh, this uh, computer hardware design, I will start from scratch. I, I'm, I'm going to talk about how to design starting from very simple circuit uh, until we have the full control of uh, or the the ability to build an embedded system or um, control using the FPGA. We'll talk about, about that inshallah in the upcoming lectures. But anyway, it is not the subject is not about is not about uh, logic design. It is computer hardware design. It is not about logic gates. No, it is about how to how to design a problem, how to solve a problem, or or how to design a system to solve a specific problem. Okay, so we have a problem. We have any problem. For example, we want to control uh, to control the traffic, the traffic lights. How to make a controller to control this traffic light? Maybe the controller is very simple, uh, uh, very simple, like a uh, few number of gates, or maybe we need a full control with memory and, uh, uh, and a CPU controller. So we will delve into all of these details, inshallah, in the upcoming lectures, but I, I am going to start from scratch. I'm going to revise with, with you each concept, uh, starting from even uh, basic logic gates. Okay, I will send you now the, on the chat, I will send you the uh, course, the course code, which is this one. And I send, I'm sending it on the chat. Where is the chat, this one? This is the class code. I sent it on chat. Now you see the slides. You see again, you see, uh, I just to make sure that you see the slides because we are recording. Can yes, you see? yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to say the same thing again. This is digital logic design. You should have some background in digital logic design. Uh, okay, now uh, we have two references here. Uh, this is the main reference of the of the subject, but I prefer the, that one, the the Mano, uh, the the Maurice Mano uh, book, which I will work from. I will work from this one, logic and computer design fundamentals. I will work from that one, not from the the, the, the one for Roth, which is digital system design VHDL. This is also contains VHDL and Verilog. But I, I mean, this is very easy to understand. If you want to have a copy of this book, I will send you you have to keep it with you as you are working as an engineer. Maybe you will need the fundamentals when you design, design a controller for a specific problem. So this is very, you can say very important reference here because it is easy to understand for, uh, for graduate level students and also contains many examples, many real world problem that, have, that has been solved with the controller or digital logic design. So my slides, my everything from coming is coming from this uh, book, not from that one. But this is the main book of the of the the syllabus. You can find it in the syllabus. You find this one in the syllabus. This one is covering more that more than that, even with VHDL. It doesn't mean that logic and computer design for Maurice Mano 
doesn't have VHDL. No, it contains very detailed, very detailed explanation of how to implement or how to design using VHDL. Okay. And okay, let me let me go directly to the CLO. We need to des the design state machine uh, to control complex systems, as we will see in synchronous. Uh, synchronous circuits with flip-flops and latches, we will see how to use uh, or how to design to make the state machine to be able to transfer from a state to other and to make control, full control of a specific complex system. Uh, also, we will see what is digital design and how the steps of digital design we will delve into all of these steps one by one. So we will know what is design exactly, what is analysis, what is design, what is implementation. We'll see this in a complex uh, system, how to solve the problem using the hardware, the computer hardware. Also, we will able to write a VHDL modules for digital systems and use VHDL test bench to test the VHDL modules. Also, we build a digital system in VHDL and we verify its performance. So if you see, we have CLO4, CLO5, CLO6, CLO7, all of them, all of them is talking about only talking about VHDL. So we it is expect extensively we will work with VHDL. Okay, so this is the first lecture. Uh, we will define the digital system. Actually, digital system is found in many, 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 many household devices, many uh, uh, PC, supercomputer, entertainment devices, uh, game console, PDA, even the car, every part in the car needs some uh, digital circuits. Also, the medicine, medicine uh, the body is an instrument to, to, to calculate the, uh, the heartbeats and other uh, sensors for that. Household devices like uh, washing machine, communication, and many, many, many other parts around us, many other devices around us working using digital circuits even in the, the the toy the chinese toy that you buy it from china you'll find this is very if you find very very small uh, or any small toy like a car toy or anything it contains digital circuit okay now this is the first the first transistor in the Bell Labs, this is the shape of the first transistor here, and how this uh, this is this is the uh, one. Uh, this is the trans the entire play the entire shape here is the transistor, and uh, this is that was in fourteen in nineteen forty eight, and this is the integrated circuit, the first integrated circuit in nineteen sixties, and this is the Intel. 4004 processor. This is also designed in 1971. Now you see, now you see, uh, we can see very small chip with millions of millions of transistors. The digital system. Of course, any any system in the world is it, just an input and output and processing. It's like if we say any system in the world, any system in nature is like that. We have an input, we have an output, and we have a processing here in the middle. This is the definition of the system. Any system, this is input and output and the processing in the middle. We can increase the computer system, we can say computer system just by adding memory. So the computer is different from many systems in that it remembers. 
it can remember. It can have a memory. A memory. So this is the main difference between any system and computer system. Any system can have an input output and processing, but the computer system has an input output and processing and also memory. This is the main difference between any system in, in the world and the PC system, the computer system. So we have here, <clears throat> we have here the control unit or the CPU. The CPU contains control unit and also an arithmetic logic unit and the data path. That data path allows the data to be moved from the control unit and the arithmetic logic unit to the memory. And after it is transferred or um, uh, uh, stored, it, we, can, we can retrieve it. We can retrieve it back using the data path. Also, the control unit can control the input output data. For example, key, keyboard and um, mouse, and also for the output, which is printer and screen, we can, uh, the CPU is able to send the data from the internal or the, inter the, the, the internal core of the computer to the outside world and getting from the outside world to the internal CPU. Okay. And that's, that's the definition of the systems. A very large scale integration design cycle. The cycle of designing any VLSI, VLSI is, is stands for very large scale integration. It starts by specification. Specification means the problem definition. What, what exactly you want to do? What is the problem you want to solve? And then design a functional design. Functional design is just to, to define how to reflect the problem from the world to be able to make a design that is suitable to be transferred as logic gates. So we have here the specification, we have the problem definition, and then we get from the problem definition, we can design a functional design or make a, a functional design and then reflect the functional design to the logic gates and then circuit design, as you see here, and then physical design and then test and fabrication. This is how to design VLSI, a VLSI chip. Just to take, to take the specification, functional design and then move it to logic design and then circuit design, physical design and test fabrication we have here uh, to the right hand side, we have different shapes of the design at each stage, each level. So as you can see, this is just a uh, NOR gate and this is this NOR gate can be uh, can be this shape in the circuit level and in the physical level, it can be this shape. What I want you to understand in these slides is just to, to understand that the design is not directly having logic gates, but also we can move to the fabrication because we want to, to design, for example, uh, you know, now we have a very small, very small uh, USB flash with very, very high storage and very small size. This is not designed in the logic level or even the circuit level, but it is designed in the fabrication. I can have the logic uh, or I can have a very, very high storage, but with very large size. The design goal is to make very high storage and very small size. This is affected by all the stages here uh, till the end, which is uh, test and fabrication or the physical design. So that's what I want to, you to understand is just to understand the levels of design for the VLSA. And even here, maybe you can have 
uh, you can have very small circuit, very small circuit in an entire digital system. You can just design and put it as just uh, a milestone or a very small piece of the system. It doesn't mean that you should or develop entire system, but you can uh, you can have your share on the design. You can have your um, contribution to the design. The signals. As you see, we have the signals here. The signals is uh, uh, is can be measured by the amplitude. Amplitude means the the value at any instance in time and the frequency, which is the repetition, the, 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 how many times it is repeated in, in a specific time period. How many times the signal is repeated in a specific time period. So the, this is the frequency. We will deal actually, we will deal with digital, we will deal with digital signal, not analog signal. As you, as you know, we have to convert the analog signal to a digital signal to be able to work with. The analog signal, as you see, this is just an analog signal. It is continuous in time. And the digital signal is discrete in time. OK, do, do you understand the difference between digital and analog? Can anybody tell me the, the main difference between digital and analog? Analog and digital, what is the difference? Discrete and continuous. Uh, okay. Doctor, uh, digital will be uh, switch on or switch off, or one or zero, because it has two values. And analog will be about, for example, more complicated, for example, sinusoidal or يعني أكثر okay. يكون عبارة عن سيجنال بشكل عام يعني تمام تمام ممتاز شكرا يا زكريا في uh, actually you answered correctly and what I want to say is the difference between uh, as you said we have the digital signal the digital signal just we have a specific values at a specific time for example, if you see to the right hand side, you can see we have a value here, specific value here at this time period, which is one and here, which is zero, but this one is continuous. We have many values in between, uh, for example, if we have two seconds or two milliseconds or two microseconds here, in these two microseconds, we have many values, but here we have only one value. Okay, let me, let me tell you the main difference between discrete and continuous. If I ask you a question like, how many brothers you have? How many brothers you have? Can you tell me that you have, you have 2.5 brothers? No, you cannot. Nobody can have 2.5 brothers. <clears throat> you, have, you have one brother, you have two brothers, or you have zero brothers. You cannot have, for, you can for you have me, how many childs we have? How many childs? You cannot say I have two child. I have two point five childs. There is no point two point five childs. There is either zero childs, one child, two child, three, and so on. This kind of data is discrete data, because we have one and two. We don't have values between one and two. We don't have 1.5, we don't have 1.2, we don't have 1.3. We only have one and jump directly to two. This is discrete signal. We can say this is digital signal. Here, the, this jump is here. We have one here and we jump directly to zero. But here we have one and we jump gradually to zero and going to negative gradually and then going up gradually until we get one again. So this is this, I want you to understand the, the concept of digital, which is me, which, which means 
you have either you have specific discrete values you have one you have two you don't have some values in between no values in between either you have one or two you don't have 1.5 1.2 like that okay so this is the difference between analog and, and this is i think you uh, you studied this is continuous in value as i told you this is just a continuous in value but this is having specific values at a specific time period here we have one and we jump directly to zero and then again going up to one and then directly to zero and so on we can represent the data the digital data in many formats like zero and one like drawn false like plus uh, five volts and zero volts and also we have two types synchronous and asynchronous the the, the asynchronous the asynchronous means this is uh, continuous in time I mean, this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one but it's in, uh, in synchronous we can have uh, a clock that clock can control uh, the, can control parallel parallel processing of the data parallel processing of the data as we will see in in synchronous circuits like flip-flops and like timers and shift registers we'll see how this is working we use a parallel processing here we have a sequential processing so we have this this is the first this is the second and so on but this is can be done uh, to get in the in parallel okay what other physical quantities that representing zero and one? We have plus five, we have zero, plus five represents one and zero volt represents zero. Here we have magnetic field. So we have, we have magnetic field, we have uh, one, we don't have magnetic field, we, we have zero. Here we have electric charge in a capacitor. We have that electric charge. If we have a charge, we have one. If we don't have a charge, we have zero. Here we have a bump. Bump is like a hole inside this surface, and the laser can read the holes if we if if the uh, head of the the reader is or if the head found a hole, he can represent or it can represent it as one. If it doesn't find a hole, it can represent it as zero. So zero and one is represented in many formats. Here we start with basic logic gates. This is binary variables. And the binary variables like X can have a zero and one, true or false, low and high. It can be represented by letters and we can use the words in logic gates like AND gate. We have uh, this binary logic gates and, uh, sorry, we have this functions. We have binary logic. The first function is AND gate. We, uh, the second one is OR gate. The third one is NOT gate. The logic signal, we have here Two ranges the range for one and the range, range for zero and we have the transition between these two limits we have this transition just to get rid of the noise just to get rid of the noise so if the value is if the value is near this range so it is represented as zero if the value is near that range, it is represented as logic one. Just as I told you, just to get rid of the noise. Okay. The logic gates here, we have the name of the logic gate. We have and or not. We have the graphical symbol. We have the algebraic function here. I have also the truth table. So and we get, we get one only if these two inputs are one. The OR, we get zero 
only if these two inputs are zero, we get the invert of the input. If we have zero, we get one. If we have one, we get zero. Also, we have another type of uh, gates, which is important actually in our design. With these uh, functions, these uh, gates are not used uh, frequently in design. We use these uh, we use these gates more frequently in design. We can represent uh, any function using NAND gate. We can also represent many functions using NOR gates and inverters, NAND gates and inverters, NOR gates and inverters. We can use either one of them or the combination of, uh, of the two to represent our logic. Uh, so why, do you know why the reason we use NAND more than AND, and NOR more than NOR, more than OR, and the, uh, these two exactly, no, uh, NAND and NOR, these two. We use these frequently in our design. Do you know a reason behind this? Anybody know why? حد عارف السبب ليه احنا بنستخدم دول اكتر من اي gates في الديزاين؟ دكتور انا يمكن يعني الكونفرجن ما بينهم فبيكون مثلا ارخص انه مثلا لو تشتري اكثر من gate. تمام ممتاز. Uh, this is one reason uh, maybe the, the price because we have we can uh, this is a compact representation of the logic. For example, two or three uh, gates can be represented by only one gate. This is one reason. Actually, the main reason is also in, a, in add, adding to your, to, your word, to your answer is the, the performance of these gates. They are, they are faster. They are faster than the corresponding gates. Okay, so the performance is the main measure here, <clears throat> and the compactness, as, as you said. So whenever we want to design a logic or design a problem, we use, with uh, design, sorry, to design a system to solve a problem, we use these types of gates more frequently. Let me clean these drawings. The unary operator, uh, the unary operator is the inverter. This is the inverter. You have zero. Uh, if we have zero as input, we have one as output. This is the simple, the symbol of the inverter. We cannot say not gate. Not it's not gate. We cannot say not a gate. No, we have to say it is an inverter. Okay. So don't say not gate. It is. Not gate means it is not a gate, so it is misleading meaning. So it is better to say inverter. So as you see here, <clears throat> if you have an X and the output, we have zero, so the opposite, the opposite is one, zero is one, and one is inverted to zero, one is inverted to zero. This is called the timing diagram. This is timing diagram. We are going to use this timing diagram in our design tool because We'll talk about the problem like uh, propagation delay and uh, some other problems may arise when we see the timing diagram. The AND gate. The AND gate is very straightforward. If we have, uh, we only have one, only, uh, we only have one if we have x equal one and y equal one. This is the logic of AND gate. And this is, as I told you, this is new, uh, new information for you, maybe. Okay. So uh, this is important uh, to know that this entire, this entire subject is coming from uh, logic uh, subjects. 
which is theoretical subjects. دي دي يعني اي مين يعني قبل كده كان العلم ده علم نظري علم الفلسفه والمنطق كان علم نظري theoretical okay and we take uh, the computer scientists talk this theoretical and convert it to mathematical shape يعني مثلا <coughs> المنطق الخاص ب and يعني لو قلت لك مثلا ائتني بمحمد وعلي يعني ايه رحت اروح هات لي محمد وعلي لو جبت لي محمد لوحده اقول لك لا انا عايز محمد و وعلي فمحمد وعلي لازم الاثنين تجيبهم لي عشان اكون انا ساتسفايد لكن في الاور لو قلت لك ائتني بمحمد او علي يبقى انت لو جبت لي محمد ماشي لو جبت لي علي ماشي فده ده المنطق يعني في اساس للموضوع من من علم تاني خالص علم المنطق علم النظر الى المنطق اللي هو كان موجود من الاف السنين بعدين اتحول للعلم ده لعلم تاني اسمه اللي هو اللوجيك بتاع الكمبيوتر اللوجيك يعني المنطق برضو بس المنطق بتاع الكمبيوتر بيسموه الديجيتال لوجيك يعني في لوجيك اللي هو المنطق لو انت فتحت الكمبيوتر كده ورحت على جوجل وكتبت المنطق علم المنطق هيجيب لك بقى ايه مش المنطق بتاع سعيد صالح اللي هو واحد يضرب واحد على دماغه ما يحطش منطق لا يعني المنطق اللي هو علم المنطق تمام آه فده كان كان اساس هو هو اساس العلم اللي احنا بنتعلمه ده اللي هو الديجيتال لوجيك فانت تحس ان الموضوع ايه يعني جاي فعلا من يعني اما اقول لك الاكس اور ان لازم يكون الواحد يا اما موجود في مكان في مكان في مكان لو عندي مكانين اي وبي يا اما موجود في اي يا اما موجود في بي ما ينفعش يبقى موجود في اي وبي في نفس الوقت ما فيش واحد منطقيا يبقى موجود في اي وبي في نفس الوقت فالموضوع ايه الحاجات اللي هي بتاع المنطق علم المنطق النظري ده اتحول لاكسبريشنز والاكسبريشنز دي استخدمناها في علم الكمبيوتر طيب okay so this is and gate and if you see we have a series uh, or switches in series if we have both of them opened or one of them opened we cannot have light here if we have both of them closed so we have light here and for the or gate so I have one here if we have at least one of them is one so this is logic one either uh, or two of them uh, is, is zero so we have logic zero this is like a parallel switch one of them is uh, closing the circuit one of them only is closing the circuit so uh, so th this is the logic or one of them this or this is going to be satisfied So this is, these are the main circuits here we are going to use, or the main gates here. We are going to use AND, OR, and NOT. The logic diagram. We can combine many logic gates together to make a, to make a logic diagram. As you see here, we have three input variables and we have output variable here. Okay, let me ask you about just basic design, uh, basic logic gate. Uh, so if we have, I will ask you and you answer me. We have here X and Y and Z. If we have zero, 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 what will be the value of F? If we have zero, 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 what will be the value of F? Zero. Just a minute. Zero. Muhammad Jumaa, Fairland, Kun in Natic Zero. Then here, if he's zero, 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 this is going to be one, but this is zero. And together, one and zero is zero. And here we have zero, zero or zero is zero. What about if we have? Zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, 
one. The output will be what? Output is one. The output was, is one. The, uh, Abbas said the output is one just because this is going to be inverted to one and we are here we have one and one. This is going to give us one. We have here zero, so the output will be one. Okay. This is the logic diagram of a circuit and we need to understand how this diagram as you see as you, as i see that you understand it that's good um, we will use this uh, diagram in our design now what about the boolean expression the boolean expression is just an expression using x y z so for example here you can say here we have x Okay, and here we have y dash. Here we have z. Here at the output we have z y dash. And here we have x or y dash z. So f equal x plus y, y dash f y dash z okay okay so this is y dash this is y dash z and this is x plus y dash z this is f what about this function the function here contains uh, x dash y z and x dash y z dash and uh, or uh, x y how many gates we need here? How many gates? Uh, five. Uh, seven, seven. Seven or six. يعني إحنا we need uh, two OR gates, and we can have uh, five, uh, three, three uh, AND gates if we have uh, three input AND gate. If we have three input and gate, if we have two input and gate, this is different. This is different. So uh, here we have, we can have this expression as one. This is, should be three input and gate, not two input and gate. If we have two input and gate, this is not going to work. We have to do another, another, uh, other type of uh, expressions. This is not going to work. So we have here uh, three uh, AND gates. We have two input AND gate. We have all gates. So total, we have this shape one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, sorry, Th this is not, uh, no, this is not going to have two, two OR gates. It's just one OR gate to collect the three expressions. So we have one, two, three, four. We need some inverters. Uh, here, so we have two inverters. So totally we have one, two, three, four, five, six gates we use in this design. As you see, as you see, the, the, the most important here is that this expression limit us to use the three input gates. If we need two input gate, we have to deal with this. We can, we can, for example, solve it like that. I will tell you. Um, let me change this color. We can say, for example, this is x dash. We have a common factor, which is x dash here. And then y, z plus y, z dash, y, z plus y z dash uh, sure. okay yes uh, yes we can't uh, x y x dash y uh, factor yes you can take x the x dash y a factor uh, and you only have uh, z uh, plus z dash which is one right yes uh, okay let me let me explain this i just want to show you that we can use we can use this shape if we, this expression is all, uh, is used for two input and gate if we have two input and gate 
So we have to make it like that. But if we have, if we need to minimize this, this is different approach. If we want to minimize it, minimize it means that we can minimize it to the minimum variables in the Boolean expression. So for example, here, as your friend, your, your classmate said, uh, we have here X dash Y as a common factor. And this is Z plus Z dash plus X, Y. And this is uh, Z plus Z dash is equal to one. I will tell you about this expression in the upcoming slides. So we have X dash, X dash Y plus X, Y. Also we uh, can X, take- X, yeah. Z, not X, Y. X, Z, yes, sorry. X is it. Okay, this is X is it. So this is X dash Y plus X is it. We cannot minimize it more than that. So this is very straightforward uh, two gates and our two and gates X and Y and z, we take x dash from uh, x, we take x dash combined with y and x combined with z. So this is z and this is x. And we take only one OR gate to have the output. If okay, so this is a minimization of the Boolean expression, and this we will talk about it also because minimization is very important is in des in design if we want to make compact design, uh, and we are concerned with the budget specific budget, so we have to minimize it as you, as you have seen in this example. The truth tables. The truth tables is just a representation of the logic for all combinations of the input. So if we have here three inputs, three logic inputs, we have two to the power, two to, two to, two, uh, to the power three entries in the truth table. So for example, here we have two to the power three, which is 16, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, two to the power uh, three is uh, eight. So for starting from zero to seven. And here, the representation of the output using the truth table. For example, here y and y dash. Okay, here y dash and y dash z. How to, how to, how to calculate y dash is just the inversion of y. So this is zero, this is going to be one. And this is zero is going to be one, the inversion of y and y dash z is taking the and gate, the and logic between z and y dash. This is represented as zero, this represented as one, this represented as zero and, and so on. And the final one is X or Y dash Z, which is OR gate between these two components. The OR gate represented here, uh, uh, the OR gate uh, output here is one. One, no, no, it should be one. Y dash. Okay, sorry, this is X or Y dash Z. So it is here, the, this is just X or y dash z. So zero, zero, zero or zero equals zero, zero or one equal one and so on. Zero or zero equals zero and so on, okay? This is how, this is the way to represent your logic gates using truth table. And we will not, we will, we will need truth table to minimize 
using the Karnov map. We'll, we will talk about Karnov map in the upcoming lectures, how to minimize your logic or the Boolean expression using Karnov map. So truth table is important. We should be able to create our truth table from the logic gates. NAND NOR gate. They are very common for discrete logic. This is AND gate. This is the representation of NOR gate. This is the representation of NOR gate is the opposite of OR gate uh, of, uh, sorry, this is AND gate. So this is NAND gate. So uh, NAND gate is the opposite or the inversion, the, the inverted of, or the inversion of the AND gate. As you see, or if you remember, the AND gate is 0, 0 equals 0, and 0, 1 is equal 1, 0, and 1, 0 is equal 0, and 1, 1 is equal 1. So if we invert it, we will take, we will see this output, which is 1, 1, 1, 0. And as I told you, the NAND gate has higher performance compared to the AND gate. The NOR, gate, the NOR gate also can be represented using the, this symbol is the inversion of the, the OR gate. The presidents of, or the operator presidents, as you see in the multiplication and the division, we, we should uh, finish the parentheses first and then NOT gate and then AND gate and then OR gate. For example, this expression, we have to solve four parentheses first. We have B or C, we finish them first, then C or D dash, then we take the AND gate first, the AND gate, which is A and the, out, the result of this, uh, to, together with the result of this. So this is the order of, if we don't have uh, parentheses, for example, if we don't have parentheses, we have to understand uh, the, uh, the, the presidents, the operator presidents. It's exactly like, uh, uh, I think there is a word, I, let me remember the word. I think it is PIMDAS, PIMDAS. PIM das. PIM is just the parenthesis and E is exponential, M multiplication, D division, A addition, S subtraction. This is the word that you have to remember to be able to not to be confused with the uh, presidents, operator presidents. PIM das. Okay, you just remember this word. So you know this is parenthesis, this is exponential, this is multiplication, which is AND gate here in logic gates, and division, <clears throat> and addition, which is OR gate, and subtraction. Okay, okay, PIM das. Uh, <clears throat> and the VHDL here, we will do our design using VHDL. And we will use the Vivado, Zelenix Vivado. I don't know if you have another version of VHDL. What version of, uh, of software you are using? What type of software you are using? Dr. Fillab, we have a new version of this program. Vivado. With Dr. Ahinna. طيب تمام يعني نزلته زيلينكس في فيفادو تمام تمام اه دكتور انا بستخدم اي اس ال او اي ال اس انا بستخدم اي اس ال زيلينكس اي اس ال او اي ال اس ايوه ايوه كنت بستخدم من جامعه ثانيه بستخدمه طيب ما فيش مشكله هو انا هبعت لكم برضه رابط ل... ل... للنسخه دي عشان بس ايه ما يحصلش مشاكل يعني كلنا نشتغل حاجه واحده وكويس على فكرة أنا ما قلتلهاش دكتورة حنة أنا لا ما قلتلهاش على زيلكس فيفادو فكويس إنها هتشتغل منه دي حاجة كويسة يعني هنشتغل من نفس الإيه السوفت وير فأنا هبعت لكم رابط لنسخة عندي النسخة اللي عندي 
على الكلاس روم هبعت لكم النسخه اللي عندي نزلوها هي نفس النسخه يعني ايه اشتغلوا من او اذا كان الدكتوره حنا قالت لكم على خلاص على مكان و... ونزلتوه خلاص اهم حاجه تنزلوا نسخه من زيلينكس فيفادو عشان نشتغل كلنا من نفس المكان لان الانترفيس مختلف عشان ما يحصلش مشكله في ال... في في الطريقه في يبقى شغل واحد يعني انا مسجل المحاضرات دي ف يعني كلها هتبقى بالشكل ده يعني كلها هتبقى على زل نكسيف بات تمام طيب اوكي اي ويل جيف يو جاست فيو مينتس تو شير ويز يو ذا انترفيس اوف زل نكسيف بات just let me open it take some time but uh, just to give me a few minutes كل ده شغال بيفتح دي النسخة اللي عندي 2019 هي مش تفرق النسخة هتلاقي آه... اوكي سوري اي ويل سبيك انجلش ذيس فيرجن از 2019 اند ات دازنت ماتر ويتش فيرجن از يو ار يوزنج وي ويل نوت جيت انتو ذي فيري كومبلكس فانكشناليتي سو اني فيرجن از اوكي Uh, here you can just uh, project and create new project. And then go to the steps of creating new project. Just name it anything. It's okay. And then RTL. RTL type project. RTL is, stands for register transfer logic. RTL. Doctor, Lana 2012.2. Okay, يعني, uh, they, uh, they are not different. Maybe it should, it should be a different feature. يعني uh, 2019 too much. Uh, we will not use the, the, the too much feature, feature. We will just use uh, the uh, just use the, the behavior and the structure uh, design and together with the simulator. So they are, they are, they are the same thing. اوكي انزين انت دكتور في كل الاحوال تطرش اللي خلينا ننزلها نحن احتياطا طيب خلاص اوكي انا وبرضه ايه العكس اللي هو ابعتوا لي برضه اللي, اللي انتم عندكم ازاي نزلتوها و... وبرضه نزلتوها من على الموقع لا لا دكتور انا عندي الفايل كامل رابط طيب خلاص ابعتوا لي الرابط الفايل بعد... كامل انا ها بطرش لك الفايل كامل في اكثر في اي اس اي ديزاين وفي في بات طيب طيب اوكي طيب يا ريت والله انا هبعت لكم هبعت لكم الرابط رابط للنسخه دي لو عايزين تشتغلوا عليها انا طبعا الجهاز اللي عندي ممكن يبقى محكوم بالنسخ الجديده لان النسخ الجديده ممكن تحتاج ميموري عاليه فلو لو حسيت ان هو تقيل هرجع هرجع لل 2019 تمام طيب خلينا نشوف المثال ده ليت اس تيك ذيس اكزامبل فيري فيري كويك اكزامبل How to use Linux? Linux if you add, we add files. Sorry, we have we create new file, create file. Uh, we select here we have Verilog and VHDL. We select VHDL, and we name it, uh, for example, AND gate. We just use an AND gate logic, and okay. And next. We make sure that the target language is VHDL and the simulator is mixed. 
and move to next, then move again. We don't need uh, constraints. This is constraints in the design. We don't need it right now. And we select which, which, which um, one we can select, RTX 7 and CPE uh, 300. I don't remember exactly, but uh, anyone is okay. We can select this one and that one and select the last one. And next, this is FPGA model. This is the FPGA mode, just the model that you are going to use uh, when you um, when you uh, when you deploy your work. And the last step, and then finish. This is. Uh, taking some time. Here we have the, the behavioral design of the AND gate. We have to write down the behavioral design of the AND gate. So we have here A, which is an input, and B, which is also an input, B, which is an input, and we add another column for uh, another row for, for F which is the output, just to select here from the list we select output because we have the AND gate has a, an input A and input B and output F. And then select OK. OK. Here we have the AND gate and we have the behavior design. If we double click on the AND gate, we will get the behavior design. The behavior design is simple. This, uh, this saying F is equal to A and B and semicolon. Don't forget about the semicolon, it is very important. Uh, sorry, this is should be written after the begin. I, I wrote it before the begin, so it should be written here, not, be, not, not here. So this is F is equal to A and B. This is just a simple, very simple logic we have. And we have this one and we want to simulate it. Okay, now, if we want to simulate, to simulate this AND gate, if we want to simulate this AND gate, we have to create a test bench for this logic. But you, you have two ways. The, the first way is to create the test bench yourself, or you can use online help for that. Actually, we have here in the slides, we have, I have uh, the, uh, and yeah, yes, I have a website here to create a test bench. You can, you can even search the internet I think you can see my uh, desktop now and you can see my uh, browser. No need for the link. I will write down on the uh, browser directly. I have too much open things. Okay, I think I have to close this one. And also close that one. Now we can search for uh, test bench, VHL, VHDL test bench. And here we have the one here for dollars, this one. And here you, you can just to give me a minute. I have a, I have a call, phone call. Just to give me a minute, please. I will stop recording. So we have here the, the VHDL uh, for the AND gate. We have the VHDL for the AND gate. We copy it. 
we copy we have to copy it select a uh, select all from uh, from the keyboard we press control a and then control c or just right click and just copy and then go to the website and select all just control a and right click and press paste and then generate VHL test bench. Now it, it generates a test bench for the logic that we have. We can just copy this part, just this part. Don't copy anything else, just this part. Just copy it and go to Vivado and then uh, from sources you add another source and uh, simulation source. This should be simulation source, not a design source. And click next. And then you have to add file and name this file as and gate test bench. And then okay, and then finish. It will ask you about the logic, the input output, uh, just, uh, just uh, uh, okay, no need for interface. Uh, okay. Okay. We go to the sources and then go to the test bench. Double click on the test bench that we have created and control A and control V. Control V because I want to copy what is inside here, just to copy and then go to the, uh, to the test bench file that I have created and then paste and then save it. You see here, look at here. You, you have you, you, you will see that the, the two files are combined together. If you click in this little arrow, you will find that this the AND gate and this is the test bench. It means that the AND gate is under this test bench. Now it is under, under this test, test bench. Okay. Now we get to the, uh, the, the, the important step here is to write our test bench. We want to test if A is zero, B is zero, and we wait for 10 uh, NS. Okay, just test the input of zero and zero, what will be the output? I wanted to see the output. So I can test for all the combinations for the circuit. We have an AND gate, we have to check for all combinations. This is the second combination, the third one, and the third, the fourth, and we leave that one for two, just an empty one for zero, zero. Okay, I will, I will tell you. This is zero, zero, this should be zero, one. This should be one, one. This one, zero, sorry, one, zero. And the last one is one, one. And, and, and then zero, zero again. Okay. Doctor, you can write the program? On email? Yes, you can email. Okay, thank you. But okay, uh, this way we have uh, we have written our test bench. We have to save it. Then we run synthesis. We have to run synthesis first to make sure that there is no error in our uh, there is no error in our code. Just look at this one here down. You see it is working right now. It is compiling your code. We 
we, sh we should wait for, for it to finish. We have written we have written uh, an AND gate. So here we can hit in this part we can have a very complex gate, the very complex design, no problem. And here we have to write the test bench for it, and then we see the output. We have to see the output. Before seeing the output, we wait for the compile compilation to finish. The compilation to be finished, then we will see how to display the output. Take some time. No need to run anything, just cancel it. And then go to the, the simulation, run simulation. Just run simulation and then run behavior simulation. Okay, now we have uh, we have uh, we have a run here. We have the interface here. We have two the three variables, which is a and b and f. A is input and b is input and f is the output. And it is represented by the timing diagram as we see in the slides. We have to revert back, go back slowly to make sure that we have the, the, the output that we need. Yes, we have it. Uh, we cannot see it uh, clearly, so we can minimize. Uh, we can. Here we can minimize. Yes, now, now is OK. Now is OK. Here we have, this is the simulation. This is the result of the simulation. And it is working like a charm. It is working correctly. So we have an input A is zero and the input B is zero. So we expect zero because this is AND gate. This is AND. So zero and zero is zero. And here zero and one is one. Zero and one is one. And here we have one and zero is zero. The only output F will be one only if we have both of A and B is one. Okay. Now you can see the output. You can see the simulation. You have correct, the correct and expected output from your circuit, from your design. If you see this simulation working like that, so this this is very this is very good. This is. This is, th that means that you have co you have the correct design, you have the correct circuit, okay? Okay, last thing here I want to show you is we can see here the, I, I don't remember exactly, but let me check the open hardware. Uh, Let me check this one. Yeah, if you see, if you want to see a schematic version of your design, you can click on open synthesize the design and then write uh, or click on a schematic. If you see, if you want to see an implementation of your design, you can see an implementation. This is this is the implementation of your uh, and the gate. Okay. Just just an introduction. I will uh, we will together we will uh, uh, delve into the details of everything here. Just to see that this is input A and this is input B and we have the output F here. 
just like the logic design as we see in the slides exactly. Okay. Okay. So uh, now uh, we finished this part. If you have any question, we finished the VHDL part. If you have any question. Okay. Okay. We'll take a break for. Uh, we should take a break because we still have uh, too much uh, slides here to finish. We have uh, 50, 50 slides finished. We need to finish uh, 83 slides. So we need to have a break, okay? Okay, Any question? Can have like, uh, uh, how, how long is the break? About, about uh, uh, 30 minutes. Okay, doctor, thank you. Okay, uh, maybe more than 30 minutes, I will, uh, I will get, uh, I will send you a message when I'm ready, okay? Doctor, is it okay if I leave the meeting and come back? Huh? After the break? Like, can I leave the meeting and come back after the break? Because I'm on the phone. Okay, no problem. But, but I will take attendance now. Uh, yeah, okay, but in the break, like, can I leave in the break? Okay. Uh, okay. After, after the break, you come. Uh, come. No problem. Uh, I I can't understand you really. Uh, 